Red Dead Redemption 2 is perhaps the most anticipated game of 2018. The long-awaited sequel was first announced back in 2016 and fans are ravenous just for any information about the game. And now a tech website has dropped a massive leak packed with details. The website Trusted Reviews has released what it's calling an exclusive leak about Rockstar's Western sequel Red Dead Redemption 2, which is due out in October of this year. According to Trusted Reviews, they received a number of development notes for the game back in August 2017. At the time, apparently, they decided not to publish them because information about the game was sparse. But in the following months, Trusted Reviews said promotional material shared by Rockstar has corroborated the information they received last year. The site compared screenshots they received to the official screenshots revealed by Rockstar and they are strikingly similar. So now, believing the information to be genuine, Trusted Reviews decided to publish what they had. So what we can assume is that they received this leaked information uh, which they shouldn't have got. Since then, they've been able to like compare their information to what Rockstar have officially put out and, and they, now they think, hang on a minute, that looks very similar. Maybe this is, maybe this is true after all. Whether it's still actually genuine or not is still in debate, but it looks very genuine from where I'm sitting. This information does date back to August 2017. The game's been delayed twice already, and it's, you know, the game's gonna be maybe slightly different when it comes out. So some of this, some of these things we're about to tell you, and we're about to tell you a lot. There's loads of information here. Some of this might be cut or something. They might have removed some of the stuff. This, yeah. old, this is quite old information, but it is good, and there's a lot of it. So let's get on with it. I know what you're thinking. Just get fucking on with it. And another we're getting no, I'm just there. <laughs> Firstly, the site says Red Dead 2's online portion will have a game mode called Revive and Survive, where two teams try to eliminate each other, but there is a limited amount of time where allies can be revived. The next game mode is Money Grab, which has two teams fighting over bags of money which have to be returned to your team's base as quickly as possible. And the final game mode, which is easily the most headline grabbing, is the addition of a Battle Royale mode. But Trusted Reviews said there was no information about how that mode might work. The memo also said there will be an online free roaming component much like GTA Online where players can explore the open world and interact with it. Red Dead 2's online mode will apparently include player owned tents and access to shops or NPCs who will provide players with missions and equipment. Also there's a mobile companion app apparently in the works as well which will launch alongside the game later this year. Red Dead 2 will also have a variety of mini games such as poker, gold mining, fishing and weapon challenges. The development notes allegedly touch upon details for the game's single player open world as well, naming locations like Armadillo and Ridgewood, which both appeared in the first Red Dead Redemption. These towns will be populated by NPCs, including general store managers, gunsmiths, undertakers, and gamblers. There will also be something called a slums market, where players can procure equipment at a reduced cost. It also sounds like the world will have some dynamic elements to it, and the memo alludes to NPCs who will go about their business in sync with the game's day-night cycle. So a lot of details there about the online elements. So, um... Much like GTA 5, we expect this. They can support this game for years to come and make money out of it that way. Whether there's no information here, whether it's going to be some sort of microtransaction um, economy uh, there, but you can kind of assume that that's the case because they make a shitloads out of shark cards in GTA 5. So Rockstar again probably going to do the same thing here. However, there are some notable um, other things, right, Mike? Like a battle royale. Mode. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did, did I wake you up then, Mike? Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I thought you wanted to talk about that. That's all. If you'd have surveyed like a hundred people, what do you think the online mode will have? That Like a lot of them would have said Battle Royale. Of course yeah. it's got Battle Royale mode in it. It makes total sense. They've already tried to do something like that in GTA Online. Of course they were going to check this into Red Dead. Whether or not it arrives on day one might be like a heist thing or whatever yeah. in GTA 5 where it comes later on. There, there's going to be Battle Royale. Um, it, we might all be bored of Battle Royale by the time this game comes out, but that doesn't matter because it'll be in it. A lot of this information gets me excited about the game. Even the Battle Royale element of it um, piques my interest. I want to try it. How are they going to drop you on the map, though? How are they going to drop you on the map? Is it a balloon? Did they have balloons? <laughs> Airship. I mean, let's iterate on this uh, Battle Royale thing. Maybe we don't have to all copy PUBG, do we, Mike? No. I mean, let's try Well, I don't know. Some people it's worked out well for some people. I mean, yeah, it's, it's worked out right. But I mean, I'm interested to see how, how they do with it. In the Western setting, it'd be a cowboy it's Battle a Royale. It's a train. You jump out of the train and just keep doing rolls. Right. Forward rolls. I that, that, I'm, not, that, I'm not a that, developer, that'd so... That'd hurt, though, Mike. Maybe the train's going really slow. Or maybe yeah. there's horses running outside the train and you can jump onto the... 
We'll leave that to the devs. According to trusted reviews, there will be several types of vehicles in the game, including minecarts, handcarts, and horse-drawn carriages, which will be available in a variety of different configurations. There will also be railway stations, which, much like the first game, let players travel across the open world. And Red Dead Redemption 2 will apparently feature a range of side activities, such as horsemanship challenges, a highly detailed fishing mode, and crafting using plants gathered from the open world. Fishing? I mean, if, oh, wow, I can't wait to try the fishing. All games need fishing. Flower picking, that was awesome from the original game. Picking flowers, walking out in the prairie, picking flowers. I can't wait. You can, you can smell the flowers them. while you're fishing. You could, you could actually fish if you wanted to. Or you could actually go okay. and pick some flowers. There's some lovely scenery out the side of the building here. Yeah. But you can go out there and be a cowboy. Strapping up as a cowboy with, with six shooters, dual pistols, oh, and picking and flowers. Doing it. Ah, and then picking okay. flowers, yeah. and then sitting there fishing. Fuck, I can't wait. Sold. There will be a first person mode in both the single player campaign and multiplayer, with custom animations made especially for the first person view. The Dead Eye ability will also return from the first game, but this time it will be enhanced to include tracking for bounty hunting and regular animal hunting. The memo also leads to random events which will happen throughout the game, which sounds similar to the Strangers and Freaks mission in GTA 5 and similarly in the original Red Dead Redemption. Another major addition is the inclusion of different outcomes for story missions. Now, apparently events will unfold differently during campaign missions, with different outcomes, objectives and dialogue based on the moral behaviour of the player and who they interact with. And just like other Rockstar games, Red Dead Redemption 2 will have a wanted level, which will increase or decrease depending on the severity of the crime. And finally, the development memo apparently also details a possible interrogation mechanic being included in the game. If players injure an enemy in a certain way, such as making them fall off a horse, then the player can force them to offer information or money in return for sparing their life. Now that does sound fun. Trusted Reviews did contact Rockstar for comment about the documents they received, but at the time of recording they have not responded. This is the kind of thing that gets you blacklisted by publishers and they won't send you review copies of their games anymore or whatever, but you know, it's a big move and it's definitely directed some traffic towards their website. If that's what they were I mean, they are a tech website, right? They're not a gaming website, so they're um, they're not really risking a lot because they don't get a lot of traffic from gaming um, anyway. So it's like ESPN leaking yeah. a load of f***ing yeah, uh, video sure. games. Like, who cares if they get blacklisted by Rockstar? Rockstar's no one to yeah, ESPN. Exactly. There are a lot of things that excite me about these announcements. I will be honest, and I hope that they they actually make it into the final version of the game yeah. because, like all creative processes, it can be iterated and things can be cut or whatever. Like Mike alluded to in the in the uh, start of the video, you know the thing. It's like the environmental things. You walk out and you, you, you get like an interaction with some random character. It's awesome. The fishing and the foul picking, that can curl up and die as far as I'm concerned uh, because that's just not what you want to do as a cowboy. Let's play poker. Let's play dice. Let's, let's herd some cattle or something, some shit like that. Awesome. Give it to me right now. To be honest, none of it is really that surprising to me. I think there's a lot, everything that I've read, I've gone, yeah, that sounds about right. That's probably, yeah, that's what's coming. Uh, it's all kind of expected stuff. It could just be a series of very well-educated guesses that are quite specific and it, you know, it all makes total sense. This is nothing kind of less than I was expecting. The fact that there's so much information in this league does kind of make me feel that it is it is legitimate. They've obviously, this is a this is a publication, not um, some guy on Twitter as, as we actually have cited uh, in just the last video that we did. This is a publication, this is a journalist, probably a group of journalists that would have been discussing this for a long time. They've had the documents since August. There's a lot of media here. I would be surprised if it deviates drastically. And if it does deviate, it probably was because that thing was cut or, you know, that it wasn't panning out as well as Rockstar wanted or something and it was removed. I think there's a lot of um, legit information here, in my opinion. I wouldn't be too surprised if we actually got some kind of confirmation uh, probably indirectly in future in the form of trailers and stuff that just backs all this stuff up. So has all this information got you excited for the game? If not, what would you like to see in the game? Let us know down in the comments below. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new around here, check out another one of our videos right about there on your screen, support us on Patreon if you're pretty good. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.